to you that which you desire. It is the power of the law of attraction. That which pulls to you that which you have a correspondent image for. That's how the law of attraction works. You must have a mental image for something in order for the law of attraction to draw it to you. If there is no mental equivalent, then there will be no equivalent in the physical. If you're wondering why you don't have the BMW, and you've been praying for it for the last 10 years, get in the car. Sit down. Grab back. You know, and let me, let me, here's something that's really interesting. You know who is the most prosperous minded black man in America? It's the pimp. <laughs> he believes he's supposed to have some money. And you watch him. He's relaxed. When he get in his car, don't he lean? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> he's supposed to have it. That's interesting. Some of the brothers in Cleveland that are out there on the street hit the numbers on a regular basis. Because they bleed, they're supposed to have some money. You know, you see the little good sisters and you know, the little church ladies going up, put 50 cents on it, you know. Brother going, give me $20 on 105, give me $15 on I spent $70, you know. And bam, long away. Because you know, he bleeds, he's supposed to have, I'm supposed to have, bro, you know. It's in his head. He's supposed to have money. Because he'd take it and throw it up against the wall, you know, and see if it'll bounce, you know. It's important that you allow your consciousness to be seduced by the idea of prosperity. It's important that spiritual people be rich. That you are able and capable of manifesting your desire. That's how you demonstrate. That's how an adept practices his science. He demonstrates. The master is detached from what he demonstrates. He doesn't use desire as we use it. He uses it purely as divine will, almost without emotions. But that's happening on the crown chakra level. He's up here. We're somewhere around here and some of us are right down here. That's the difference. But, but it's important to be able to prove me with, saith the Lord, that the power is with you. That's what that spiritual aphorism is saying. Prove me herewith, saith the Lord, and I shall open you a window to heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to contain. That's a heavy blessing. Prove it. Prove that God is with you. Prove that God is working through you as you for you. Prove that God loves you. How do you do that? By loving yourself. By acknowledging God within you. By accepting and expecting God to do something for you, through you, as you. That's the way you have to think. You can't go backwards anymore. You can't handle the pity parties, y'all. So throw all those invitations away. Anybody coming to them? Very important to think positive, because with positive thought, you're thinking with power. Very important.